All right, it's time to learn how to make some spam musubi. The ingredients are as follows. Seaweed. Cut the sheets in half with scissors. You will need a short grain rice, usually referred to as Japanese rice or perhaps sushi rice. Sugar. I am using a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, but that's only because I ran out of white sugar. Shoyu, or soy sauce, using about a half cup here. And of course, the star of the show, a can of Spam. I prefer the 25% less sodium. And lastly, you will need a Spam Musubi Maker. You can find these easily on the internet. If you can't find one, I guess you could put one together with Legos. How to prepare the rice. Now, I didn't give any specific measurements, just because I like to make a lot and then use the leftovers for fried rice the next day. But I think I made about five cups of rice here. You're gonna wanna wash your rice. Now this gets rid of that fine powder that makes your rice very gummy and gluey. You wanna wash it until the water runs clear. Now that can take several times of rinsing, dumping the water out, and repeat. Now here I'm using my middle finger first knuckle line as my water measurement. Now this is gonna be a fail-safe way of making sure that your rice comes out perfectly every time. So the way I make rice in a pot is by bringing it up to a boil and then I'll stir it once, cover it, and bring it all the way down to a low, medium, low setting for about 20 minutes. Then I let it sit off heat for about 10 minutes before I take the cover off and stir the rice. Make sure to stir the rice. So when you open up a can of Spam, you want to pull that tab, peel off the top of the can, and then flip it over, squeeze the sides together, and shake it out. I like to cut my slices about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. I got nine slices out of this one. Turn that fire on to about medium heat. Throw in your soy sauce and then your sugar. Let the sugar melt for maybe two minutes. Add your slices of Spam. I usually let it cook for about five to ten minutes. You don't want to overcook them. Sometimes I'll even add a little bit of water because the sauce might get too thick. Your whole house is going to smell so good. So about now, your rice should be done. Assembling is pretty easy. Place your half sheet of seaweed down. Grab your Spam Musubi Maker, which has been sitting in a bowl of water. Keep it wet. Put that in the center of your sheet. Fill the mold with rice. Take the top of the mold. Squish it down as you're sliding the, the side walls up. There you have your perfect square. Grab your Spam, throw it on the top, and then wrap that baby up around with seaweed. After putting all my musubis together, I usually just grab some saran wrap and wrap all of them up individually. These are such a great snack to bring when you go fishing, go to the beach, go on a hike, or even just for lunch. I hope you guys try it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.